If you've heard people talking about aquafaba and you're like, what is that? I've never heard of it. Where do I get it? How do I use it? I thought it was a swim technique. <laughs> I thought it was like the new backstroke. <laughs> Does that not sound like it could be? With the aqua? Yes. I can, yeah, now that I'm always gonna think of that. Thanks. I'm gonna tell you guys what it is, where you can, where you get it, what, what is it? where you can find it, how you use it, and we're gonna showcase it in these delightful spring-inspired lemon coconut macaroons that are 100% vegan. These are like the ultimate spring treat. They're light, they're a little bit citrusy from the lemon. Ooh. They're incredible. I don't get people that don't like lemon flavor. I know. Lemon and desserts were made for each other. Especially coconut. Yeah, yes. Okay, so I got this coconut at a, at a discount grocery store. It was three bags for $5. So I got this in mind being like, I have to make sweetened? macarons. Unsweetened? Un good question. I prefer to use unsweetened because I like to control the sweetness myself. 100%. Sometimes the sweetened one is too much. It's way too much. And I like to be able to control how much I'm adding, how much I'm not adding as far as sugar goes. And this recipe, you'll notice it does have quite a bit of coconut. So if you don't like coconut, not the recipe for you. Well, it's a macaroon. Yeah, but a lot of people are like, I can handle some coconut, but not too much. This is like 99% coconut. I'm there for it. You see how much I'm going through? Except I wanted one. I was told I was getting a few of them, and then someone forgot them at home. <laughs> sure. Sorry. Yeah. I'll make sure. them again. <laughs> I don't know what to believe here. Did you eat them? Did you forget them? I forgot them and ate them. <laughs> So these are like a textural sensation. Part of the coconut is being toasted because Ooh. as we, as many of us know, toasting anything, nuts, coconut, whatever, bread, it's gonna release even more flavor. You're gonna build on those flavors. So to, we're gonna toast some of it, but not all of it. I like that. It's like a, a combination of both and the look of it too. Toasted looks exceptional it, to me. Yes, it totally, it's got that nice brown color to it. And then we're gonna take a, a lemon. This is obviously where the lemon comes in. We're gonna zest the entire thing because I personally hate when you look at a recipe and it's like one teaspoon of lemon zest. Well, mm -hmm. I just pierce mm -hmm. the skin of a lemon. What am I supposed to do with the rest of this? By every single recipe, you're getting the whole lemon zest. That's how I am too. Honey knows you're surprised. not my sister for nothing. Yeah, not surprised there. And also, I need to say, you look like a macaroon. This little <laughs> outfit here, it's like your spring little macaroon outfit. I look like the Easter Bunny. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> and it's the headband too. I think that looks like Easter Bunny. <laughs> so make sure you get all the zest off the lemon and put that aside for later because we don't want to throw See, it's out. it's not too much zest. No, and you can't have too much zest as far as I'm concerned. Now, the, this is a can of chickpeas. This is where the aquafaba lives. I hear someone being like, ew, what, They're chickpeas? They're like, beans and what? <laughs> aquafaba is the water from a can of chickpeas, but not just chickpeas, you can use any beans. So if you have a can of white beans, black beans, black beans would make them darker, so don't use black for this recipe, but get yourself a can of chickpeas, drain out the water, you got yourself aquafaba. You're already halfway there. It's so cool because it's like, it's a thicker consistency. It's kind of like um, juice that comes from like canned peaches. It's that consistency. That It's like a syrupy consistency, but it's not sweet. Yes, and the protein in oh, the water- oh, she's getting in there. Is what helps it to, wh to whip up like egg whites. So again, it's kind of hard to wrap your mind around if you're not used to using this ingredient. We're gonna use some cream of tartar. That is what's gonna help us whip those up faster and stiffer. So it's, you don't, if you don't have this, it's not that much money to just go out and get it and you're only using a tiny bit and you can have that in your pantry forever. That's and, all you use? Mm -hmm, just a tiny, tiny bit. That's like a lifetime supply of it then. Yeah. And then we're gonna turn the mixer on and let it do all the work. I've tried to do this by hand, it doesn't work, okay? So don't, I. this is a brand new mixer from Shout Barbecue Pops. Shout out to Barbecue Pops. Let's give the guy a round of applause, okay? Look at, watch how we it transitions. We finally have those in our kitchens. Okay, yeah, you can't be doing that by hand, even with these guns. No, and you that- You still can't do that by hand. Does that not look like egg whites? How long did that take? Two minutes. No, it didn't. Literally two minutes. Two? And it whips up to look exactly like egg whites. So this is a perfect plant-based substitute Ooh. for egg whites in your baking. Okay, that looks insanely good. So this is maple syrup from my farm. You guys know I put it in basically any opportunity I can. So this is also a refined sugar-free recipe. Ooh. If you don't want to use white sugar, it's, in, in my opinion, a lot healthier if you're using maple syrup. So you just put that in there, you're, you're mixing it into there. You're just drizzling it down the side little by little. Now we're gonna take that toasted coconut that we toasted in the oven, lightly toasted, 
and add it to a food processor because we're trying to have those different textures in as part of our macaroon and we want the toasted coconut to get broken down a little bit to be a little finer. And this is also good because we're gonna be adding something else to this and it's gonna get like a moist texture you're gonna see in just Ooh. a second. Yeah, because uh, to me a good thing about a macaroon is that when you bite it, it's crispy on the outside, and but yet it's kind of like juicy, I want to say, on the inside. Yes, it's chewy. Yes. So this ingredient is called coconut mana. If you've never heard of it, all it means is coconut mana is just the flesh of a coconut. Ooh. So unlike coconut oil or coconut milk, coconut milk is too watery. Coconut oil is just oil. Coconut mana is like the best of both worlds. It's the flesh of coconut and it's got a much stronger coconutty flavor to it. Ooh. That's why I like to use it. You could yeah, use coconut in. oil if you don't have it, but if you have it, I would definitely recommend it because it just bumps up that coconut And it's flavor. like starting to bind it together. Yes. And, it, and you absolutely need to use coconut oil of some kind because otherwise they won't hold together as well. I like that you're adding salt in there. Salt brings, okay, anyone that's made a dessert before and you're like, I'm just gonna omit the salt. No. Salt, don't, you gotta add it in there. It brings a out lot. the flavor. A lot of it too, yes. more than you think. Especially if salt and salt brings out the vanilla flavor. What is okay. this? Okay, so this is amaretto flavor. Ooh. So amaretto is almond. It's a, it's a very it's a, it's not technically the same thing, but if you I had amaretto and I wanted a, a little drop it's of like almond jazzed extract. Up almond. Yes. So next I've, level almond. The combination of the two extracts, both vanilla and almond. This recipe is, I gotta say, I developed this recipe from scratch and it's an absolute winner, guys. I feel like I'm smelling it from here. And it's and I wanna free. say, still not tasting it from here. I'll make it for you again, honey, because wait till we get you to one part to. of the video. I wanted to do this again and what I will this? for you. What just went in there? This is arrowroot flour. Okay, to bind it? To, to bind it a little bit easier to make sure it, it sticks together. Gluten free. And I was just gonna say, it is also a gluten free recipe. So if you're looking for something to make your the people in your family that are gluten free. Vegan, gluten free, egg free, like dairy free. Yep. It's all the free. It's Soy free. free. Yes. So then we're just gonna take our whipped aquafaba. Who would guess that that is like a product that has come from a can of chickpeas? Now I promise you too, for those of you who are like, ew, that's gross, it tastes like beans. I'm not making like a bean salad, okay? It, it doesn't, doesn't taste like beans. It does not taste you like- You would never guess that that tastes like chickpeas. Not 1%, and I okay. wouldn't lie to you guys, it does not at all taste like beans. She wouldn't, guys, she wouldn't. If you trust me at all, you will listen to me and know that it does not taste like beans. Then we're just gonna mix it up all together. This does take a while. You don't need to be gentle though. It's not like egg whites where you're wondering if it's gonna like fall or anything. Look. Okay, we, cause at first I was like, that's looking like it's too much. But no. then all of a sudden that coconut absorbed all of it. But then you also add in, which I didn't show, but you add in, you'll see in the recipe, there's another cup of just regular coconut that's not been broken down and not been toasted. That's what is to me, I already know not by, again, not by tasting this recipe, I know that was good because it has the two um, Textures. types of coconut in there. Yes. The toasted coconut is for more flavor and the untoasted coconut is more for like that texture that we all know and love. Okay, so I will, on this note, I wanted to tell you. They are forming together perfectly. They are, but and you'll notice I'm using a quarter cup measuring spoon for this because I could not find my, I have an ice cream scoop that has one of those handles that releases, which is perfect for macaroons because it gives you that yes. nice dome shape. No, I have this one. this is still a good shape. No, I couldn't find it. I have one, I couldn't find it. It's like the dome shape with the little curling yes. at the bottom. That's what you're looking for. So, I, since doing this video, I went out and bought myself a new one. Because you couldn't find your I other one? I lost it. I think it's in the grill studio somewhere. Ooh. And I know that you like things on the smaller side, but I like these big giant no, macaroons. I like, I, for, okay, for a macaroon, well, I, I don't know. I like, I'm not going to turn away any macaroon, but I, I know what you're saying here because I'm more like surface area. Yeah, but, but I wanted a big a, one. Yeah, when it comes to a macaroon, <laughs> you want that inside gushy texture. Yes. So I'm I'm there for you on that. So we've got to set the, the Ninja wood fire set to bake. I'm not using the smoke function and I'm just adding on some time here to make sure we give ourselves enough time for this cook and we're off to the races. What's cool about vegan recipes is that you never have to worry about is the egg cooked on the inside. No. Like it's literally like you're just toasting them. It's just it's just to your level of doneness. You yeah. wanna make sure they're nice and golden brown. Look at how nice those look as it is. Did you use the smoke function or did you just I not just, use it? I just said I didn't use the smoke function. Oh, I function. did not hear that. <laughs> uh, you could if you wanted to. I didn't wanna, I wasn't in the mood for like overly smoky. You gotta Macarons. be in the mood for it. I wasn't in the mood. You could absolutely if you wanted to, but I, I didn't I think want that it. would be good coconut and like a cherry 
a cherry yeah. bullet. That would be really good. 20 minutes. Wait till we... Oh. <gasps> what? Perfectly toasty. The smells, guys. Okay, but know what would be also good on that? If you what? want to take it to the next level. What? Not that this isn't the next level. Drizzle of chocolate on the top. That's what. That's the one thing that I thought it was missing. Is a white coconut chocolate. Coconut and taco come on. No, a white chocolate. Because it's... Um, Ooh, that's different. Because it's lemon, I would definitely go with a white chocolate if you wanted to do a drizzle. Or if you want to do sometimes macarons, the, only the bottom is dipped in chocolate. Yes. A white chocolate on the bottom, I think, would have really put these over the edge. I didn't have any, though. That's all right. Okay, and one thing I learned... It. One thing I learned about myself in the, this video in particular, I like to smell things. I'm smelling... I'm putting okay. my nose Can on, like, everything. Can I say that that's not... But you always make fun of me for smelling things? And, like, did you see how many times I'm smelling yeah. this? It's like, you get your to, nose. When you're cooking, you need to taste and smell along the way. I couldn't stop smelling these. Don't make fun of others Fine. who do the Fine. same thing that you do. <laughs> but I couldn't stop smelling them. Yeah, they... But it's... You know why, probably? It, it's the a, lemon. Yes. Lemon in baked goods? Come on. And I wanted to let them cool all the yeah, way. I'm gonna need it to see the inside shot. Okay. Here. Again, because I never oh, tasted one the myself. The texture, guys, they were crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. I had to just go right at one. I can tell that's that's incredible. The texture on point, the proportions on point, perfectly sweet in my opinion. If you wanted it a tiny bit sweeter, you could definitely do the white chocolate thing, but I did not think it needed it. I could have eaten. Like five of these. I think you did. That's why they didn't end up at my house. And I thought, <laughs> I thought that this is they were gonna last forever. Oh, oh, oh! Let's do macaroon dance. This was dance. me being like, let's do oh. macaroon dance. <laughs> I was into it. Let's all do it. It's like, oh my, they're so good. <laughs> and I just like forgot that this was on. I was just enjoying. She was just like, let's just have a little tender moment. I was like, <laughs> here we go. They are just so good. I honestly could have just... to make those. You're gonna I will. make those tomorrow, buddy. Once I make okay. a batch tonight, bring them tomorrow. Well, I have the scoop now, the proper scoop, and I wanted to show you. I wanted and to I tell you guys. And I want some choco on mine. I don't have white choco. Well, I can give you some. If you're get you're making them tonight. Thank you. All right. I I wanted to have that scoop to show you the what they looked perfectly, and I was so the upset scoop, by that. Hung up on the scoop. Who cares about the scoop? That that's literally perfection. But the picture it would look so much nicer with the scoop. If you have the scoop, use it. If you don't, you're not going to be missing that much though because the recipe is there, the flavors are there. Absolutely. <laughs> Total winner. Thank Great you. Great job, buddy. Thank Great you very job. much. Aquafaba, baby. It's not this. No. <laughs> what is that? That's nothing. That's front crawl. <laughs> <That's nothing. laughs>